Hey guys, Jared here from Deer Country Farm and Lawn. And today I'm sitting in the cab of a new John Deere 4066R, and I want to take a little bit of a look into the cruise control module or the hydrostatic convenience module, uh, normally located on the right hand side of those tractors, uh, and the operations of each button, uh, what it does for you, and what it can do to benefit you. So let's break this down button by button. All right, diving right into it, we're going to go top to bottom on this. The first one up here is going to be your cruise control set. Now we're not going to spend too much time in it. Uh, everyone's operated a cruise control before in a car, so it is very similar in the operation of that. You do have a center button to turn it on and turn it off. You do have on the left hand side a set and minus for setting the speed but also decreasing it. And off to the right hand side you do have a resume and a positive. The positive of course to increase your speed. The resume, uh, to resume the speed if you say press the brake pedal in or the reverse hydrostatic pedal in, uh, that'll stop the machine. It doesn't deactivate the cruise but it will stop the machine. You can press that resume and start that cruise control cycle again. Uh, if you press that center button as well, uh, of course that deactivates it, the tractor will come to a stop. Uh, keep in mind if you do fully deactivate it uh, or press the reverse hydrostatic pedal, the tractor will come into a abrupt stop, uh, especially if you press this center button. Uh, if you want to continue forward movement, make sure you have your foot ever so slightly planted on the forward pedal of the hydrostat. That'll ensure that it doesn't come to an abrupt stop, that you keep slightly moving. Uh, that way you just don't get thrown into the steering wheel. Below that is going to be three different buttons. We're going to go left to right on this. The left one is going to be load match. Now load match is designed when it's activated to adjust the speed of the transmission or the speed of the hydrostat per your load. So it's load based, uh, hence for the name load match. Uh, if you are doing something that is PTO sensitive or load sensitive uh, and you don't want the engine stalling out, that's what that's for. It's designed to keep the engine from stalling out. Now how that works is uh, we're going to demonstrate it here by putting the tractor in C range. Uh, we're first going to do it with it deactivated, then we're going to activate it, and I'm going to show you the difference here. So what you'll notice is uh, in C range when I hammer down that, that forward pedal on the hydrostat, the tractor is going to ball down real bad. Uh, it's going to want to almost stall out. And then we're going to activate it, and you're going to see the opposite. So uh, we have it deactivated now. We're in C range as well. I'm going to give it a little engine RPMs. I'm going to give a little bit of throttle, and then we're going to go ahead and do that. And you should be able to easily hear what the engine does. So going ahead and pressing it all the way down. All right, let off there real quick on it. You can hear how the engine bogged down, almost stalling out. Now load match is designed to prevent that. So what we're gonna do is activate it here real quick. We're gonna give it a little bit of engine RPMs as well. And we're gonna do the same thing, but listen for the droop, but then listen also as it picks back up almost immediately, okay? So, like I said before, load match is designed to keep the engine from stalling out. Uh, it is a very convenient feature. I use it all the time. Almost every time I get in a tractor that has this feature on it, I'm activating it just because it's 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 too convenient. Um, it does go hand in hand with our next one, and I'm actually going to skip over that center button. I'm going to go all the way to the right, which is auto throttle. Uh, auto throttle is going to change engine RPMs as well as the transmission speed. Uh, based on how far down you're pressing on the hydrostatic pedals. Uh, for a way of lack of better words, uh, it does turn them into what I would say maybe like a gas pedal on a car. Uh, you press down the gas pedal of a car, your engine, you know, peaks up and you speed up. So that's what auto throttle is designed to do. It's very effective for loader operations, transport operations, uh, try to save you on fuel. Uh, it's not recommended for operations where you're doing any kind of PTO work out the rear where you need more of a constant speed. You always want to use your hand throttle system for that so that way you have a constant set speed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate it here real quick and then we're just going to take a little quick drive. You'll be able to hear how the engine almost instantly starts adjusting per how far down I'm going. So you can hear that right away how it just picks right up. That feature does work in reverse as well.
saves you from having to constantly adjust the hand throttle system. Now it's good to know too that auto throttle is available on 2R series, uh, 3R series, 4R series, but there are kits available for specific models uh, in the whole compact lineup that will add this feature to it. Uh, it's a small kit with a switch on it uh, and then also to the software that goes in with it. Moving back to the center here, that center button I skipped over, that's going to be speed match. Now speed match, when activated, will limit how fast the transmission can go, uh, no matter how far down you press that hydrostatic pedal. Uh, you activate it, you use the set button on the cruise control module side, and once that is set and you let off, the tractor will never go faster than that preset speed that you had set. Now that comes in very handy for different applications, like if you're spraying for application, uh, or tilling, you don't want to actually start going too fast and stressing out the tiller or the tractor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press that in. We're going to move forward, get her going maybe about a mile an hour or so. Then we're going to go ahead and hit that set button. Then we're going to let off. Once we have that max that speed match and the max forward travel speed set, we can go ahead and press that forward pedal down as far as we want to, and the tractor will never go further than what we have it set at, which was just a little bit over one mile per hour. So if I press that forward pedal down all the way, that's as fast as we go. We're not gonna be going any faster than that. Now that can work hand in hand too with your cruise control very nicely, because what you can actually do with that uh, if you are doing certain types of work where you have a set speed range, but you never want to exceed it, uh, but you need to be able to slow down within that range into different speeds, uh, you can use that in conjunction with each other uh, to uh, effectively uh, increase your productivity on that side. So. The last thing we're going to go over is this down here. This is going to be motion match. Now, motion match has a dial with a handful of different symbols or different dots on it with two symbols at the top of a tractor, one with a longer arrow, one with a shorter arrow. Now, what this does is this allows you to adjust the sensitivity to hydrostat when you let off on it. Uh, if you have it set for your short distance, the tractor will abruptly stop on you. Uh, if you have it set for your long distance, of course, the tractor will drift more. So uh, depending on what type of work you're doing, whether it be loader work, field work, or you have very sensitive materials, or you're, or you're navigating in a very sensitive area, uh, you can adjust it per the job that you're doing. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and adjust this. Um, that way you can see exactly uh, what, uh, what it does. And I'm actually gonna take the time here to actually move this tractor onto the pavement. Uh, that way you can see it as I can get up to speed and hopefully you can see when I let off on it the distance that it travels, okay? All right guys, now that we're on a level flat surface, I'm able to demonstrate this hopefully a little bit better than I would be on the grass. Uh, what we'll do here first is we'll take this and turn it to the longest setting. So we're going to turn it to the left hand side, You're going to, it's going to be underneath the tractor with that long arrow underneath of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get up to speed here, uh, probably have to take notice of some of the stuff behind me so you can see if, how far the tractor drifts. Uh, but this is going to allow the transmission to allow more drift before we come to a stop. Uh, making it a little bit more useful, like I said, for things like loader work and depending on the application. So let's do that. Have it set off to the longest setting and let's get moving here. All right. You can kind of see how we got a little bit more drift there. I'm going to go ahead and put it in C range real quick. We're going to do the same thing real quick. Hopefully we can see a little bit more of that drift. So that's at the longest setting. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip around here real quick and we're gonna go ahead and go to the complete opposite, which is the shortest setting. You, sh you will be able to notice the distance that the tractor travels on the shortest distance. Uh, that and me basically being almost thrown into the steering wheel. Take a second here, turn that dial back down all the way to the shortest setting. So when I let off this hydrostatic pedal at the shortest setting, uh, the tractor is going to come to an abrupt stop. Now keep in mind too, there are a handful of settings in between to fine tune it. Uh, there's not like a max and a minimum only setting. Uh, you can fine tune it into specific regions that fit your needs and fit your liking. So shortest setting, let's go ahead and get some speed here real quick and then let off the hydrostatic pedal. So that noise
noise you heard actually there was actually the rear tires screeching because it wanted to come to a stop so quickly. Um, we could try it again here real quick. We're gonna go a little bit forward. I'm not gonna go as fast. I'm just gonna go enough that you can see as soon as I let off, it's gonna wanna bring me right to a stop. So let's do that again. All right, so you can see the abrupt stop there. Uh, that is that shortest setting. Uh, basically the tractor bringing us to a stop immediately. Like I said, there is fine tuning that you can do in there uh, in order to fit your needs. Uh, so play with it, find out what feels right to you, what fits right. Let me move out of this car's way real quick. And you can make it work for you. Um, otherwise, that is a quick review here real quick of this cruise control or hydrostatic convenience module. Uh, offered on select John Deere compact tractor models. I hope you guys enjoyed this information. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget as always to hit that like button down there at the bottom. Subscribe to our channel for more videos, uh, how-to tips uh, on equipment to come. Thanks.